Hello Floss Tube, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to show you the cross stitch shopping which I have had. Um, I haven't had such a video for a long time, I don't know why, because earlier I used to organize myself and get everything together what I used to buy during one month and show it in one video. Uh, but now I don't know why I'm not doing it. I used to show some of my things that I, I bought um, in uh, two or three videos, like in between new projects and something like this. <clears throat> but nevertheless, I have lots of things which are uh, already with me because I'm expecting more. And I decided to share them with you. So the first, um, what I want to show you are some Just Nan charts with embellishment packs. I am a very, very big fan of Just Nan. And uh, this um, this order was made in the shop uh, Silver Needle because there uh, you can buy, you can still buy uh, this uh, exclusive design made by Just Nan for the shop Silver Needle, which is called Birthday Bluebirds Biscornu. And this was made uh, because the shop um, um, had an anniversary of 35 years, something like this. And ta -da, probably you could see that I have the already made work. So I couldn't wait. And when it came, I just stitched it. And by the way, I have a video on my uh, channel about this process um, and uh, project, I mean. And I, uh, I'll leave a link in the info box if you are curious to find out how it went and because there I'm showing everything, because this is the uh, embellishment left over, but there I'm showing everything which uh, was like from the very beginning. Also a great news, it was that Just Ned reprinted these two beautiful charts, uh, samplers. Uh, this one I didn't have in my collection, I hadn't planned to buy it, but on eBay it started getting uh, very high prices, that's why I was like, skeptic about having it in my stash and when um, it was the reprint i was super happy and i am happy as well because there are these nice um, uh, needle slides which are exclusive as well and of course i bought it and i bought them both like the both reprints but i have a silkwood manner and i bought it like in november for i wouldn't say very high price but it was higher than usual but when the reprint was announced and i knew that it was this needle slide and i'm a just nan collector <laughs> i couldn't resist and of course i bought this this two like together and this is the old one so this is how the old one looks like it's in pristine condition because it's sealed and uh, i don't know which one i'm going to, to stitch honestly i'll have to choose <laughs> which one to stitch the next one is uh, the uh, design needle in the garden. It has just this charm, only this charm. I like this kind of panels. Just none has this. They're very interesting to stitch. And uh, here I have inside. I ordered as well the linen because the linen it's you see this nice one. It was possible to order the linen as well, and I ordered it. So. I have to provide just the DMC threads. And I also have such a um, sampler, Bliss. It's a very beautiful one. I saw it being stitched. Such a nice embellishment pack. And I hope I'm going to stitch it soon. And the last one is the Snowflake Ice Blossom. When I bought the uh, first one, I don't remember which one I have. The one which is on plum linen has to be stitched. I said that no, 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 that one is the, the one I like the most. Then I said, oh, I like this one as well. And I said that no, I won't buy the other two because there are other two from this series. And now I'm thinking about the pink one because I like that one. So if I'm going to buy that one, don't judge me too harsh. So this is the just non uh, just then uh, charts which I bought and my stash, just then stash is bigger and richer now. The next is uh, such a 
just nan design i love this design a lot i have a feeling that they are taking it out of production because at least i had to look for it to find it with such a strawberry button and i wear the bead because i like it a lot and because i have such a pin this is kind of rare pin also tomato pin cushion by just nan and i thought that i don't know how but i'm going to have them like together and the next design is the design from uh, she shepherd's bush this is a full heart which i wanted lots for a few years and i finally have it so this is a kit actually because it has hand dyed linen it has the floss, this is Gloriana, several ones, I don't remember the brands, I know that there is DMC as well, there is an organizer and such beautiful buttons, I think they are especially made for Shepherd's Bush because I haven't seen like these buttons being sold anywhere else, and uh, this one comes actually as a series, because it has, first you buy this design, you make a box, and uh, the lid of the box and in the box you put like a lot of pin cushion, rule, ruler, uh, scissor, scissor fob, there are a lot of them. I looked at the designs carefully but uh, um, I decided that no, I'm just going to stitch one uh, um, pin cushion. So, and I have such designs and I thought about like choosing them for seasons and these ones are kind of designs where you pay for the uh, button and the, um, the design comes. That's why I don't have a color preview, it's just, so here it's such a beehive, this probably is going to be spring and here I have such a pumpkin and this of course is going to be autumn and I have to buy winter which probably is going to be Christmas and I have to buy uh, summer something like this and I'll have just one pin cushion there with also with because all of them are with uh, sheep so that's why it's going to be thematical one and I'm super super happy that I managed to buy this uh, this design one more chart which came into my butternut road collection is this um, this one i like it a lot i have i don't know why but uh, children's garden it's called i don't know why but it seems that i'm making a collection of them i hope one day i'm going to stitch all my butternut road charts and one more thing which i wanted to show you so these are the materials for a chart i'll try to insert the photo of the design so this is a design by uh, chatelaine uh, from martina rosenberg it's called uh, the perfumes and uh, this is the first and only design which so far caught caught my attention because i am not stitching mandalas i'm not stitching uh, designs from uh, chatelaine not because i'm not like I, I don't like them um i would say that uh, i'm a bit afraid of them because I know that they are expensive, but the half dolls I'm stitching and uh, and making they are not they are not cheaper. <laughs> but uh, I don't know why. Probably the um, multitude of uh, beads, the multitude of special stitches. I don't know why, but so far I haven't stitched. I'm not saying that I won't, but uh, so far this is the only design I liked, and I bought it like the chart. I mean, I bought it from the official site. Um, time ago, I don't remember it was a year or even two years ago, after I saw a video of a Russian floss tuber, she showed the materials, then she showed the ready work, I felt like wow, <laughs> and I um, I, uh, I bought the uh, the chart from the official site and that's it, I just stopped. And this year, in the beginning of the year, I remember I saw again like two Russian floss tubers, one of uh, them like showed it as a plan for this year to stitch, to be stitched, and the other uh, one already started stitching it, and uh, it was like the second like uh, strong desire to, to, to do something about this chart. And this time I bought the materials for this chart. So you have them in front of you. So this is not a, this is not an expensive chart by Chatelaine. So it requires you know, four um, treasure braids. One of them, this one I even had, like I didn't buy it. I bought just three. 
Then it needs uh, four silks, two Gloriana, two Dinky Dyes. So these are the Glorianas. This one, Wood Pond. It's super beautiful. And uh, it's uh, the Dinky Dyes, it's Pindi and uh, Swan Valley. So here they are. And then the embellishments, the beads and treasures. So it requires three, uh, three shades of beads. These are Miyuki beads. So, beads. so this ones. And uh, two Bikonuses, two colors of Bikonuses. All by Swarovski. This one was difficult to find. I found it just in one shop and it was selling like 30 pieces. I couldn't find it less, so I paid more, but it was the only variant I could find this one. And honestly, I wanted to, to buy all the materials by myself because um, uh, they were easy to find. So I didn't have to look a lot for each of them. And this is the Margarita Daisy. So I need just one, but um, they were selling like two in a pack and I bought two. And it also requires Yedmar uh, uh, um, thread, but the... Uh, uh, and it's not the only um, design which requires this Yedmar um, thread. Uh, and the Russian floss tubers who used to stitch uh, shuttling designs, they complain. They say that it's very, very difficult to work with this floss and it's not... Um, it's not okay to stitch with it, so the the stitched part doesn't look uh, accurate. And uh, they are replacing it with a uh, simple um, DMC. Uh, some of them replace it with uh, silk from DM from with silk from DMC, which is my case. So I bought like simple DMC simple. I mean like simple silk from DMC. So it's S three hundred and ten. I'll see. So when when I'll, I'm going to stitch it, I'll see which one is going to work better and I'll choose. Maybe if this one is not going to work, I'll use simple uh, black uh, DMC as well. And uh, the uh, fabric I'm going to use, so I think it requires white, 30 second count, uh, Belfast. I'm not sure if I'm going to use white, maybe I'm going to use another shade, like not a dark one of course, but I'll see. I'll see. So I'm not sure about that one. The thing is that I have all the materials uh, and I have I have quite a lot of Belfast in my stash. So I think that when I'm going to be ready, I'm just going to take everything from the box they are kept in and I'm going to stitch it. Uh, the next one, it will be some frames, which I managed to buy. I don't know how, but, how, but I managed to buy some frames. So the first one is one from Mill Hill with such a nice shape and flowers hand painted i like such frames i haven't thought what i'm going to put in here but i bought it because i liked the the um pain, painting which is here a lot and one more frame is such a frame with a butterfly it was a cheap one i thought it's nice i don't have like any plans but i'll see if i'll find something nice to frame in it i will the last frame I wanted to show is such a frame, which I found in a simple shop for not a lot of money, but it's it's super nice. You know that I'm crazy by bees, about bees. I have such a bee mania. It's not plastic, this one, it's heavy. I don't know what it's made from. But I think it, 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 wasn't, uh, it wasn't expensive and it looks super nice. And I have even a design. To, to do with this one. So I have such a design from the Bee Cottage. And honestly, I don't care on which count I'm going to stitch this one. I'm ready to stitch it on the 40th count, but this one should fit here. <laughs> so I will calculate and I will stitch it. And uh, as well, I had from previous shoppings, I had such a stand for scissors and the same brand uh, has uh, such needle minders also in the form of a beehive and such scissor foops. This one is pretty big for scissors, but it's nice. As I said, you know, it's super nice. See, like this. And I have some, uh, I don't know, charms, also bees. I like these ones. I think I'm going to use for something. I'm not sure, but I bought them because I like them. So a lot of bees from my bee mania. And this is it. This is everything I wanted to show you about my shopping. Cross-stitch, handmade, 
shopping. I hope you liked it and see you in my next videos. Until then, bye bye.